on the memorial of Darfur genocide. The ongoing 10 years atrocities against people of Darfur, indeed a great shock to humanity, which is similar to the atrocities against Armenian people, Jews in Nazi Germany, Muslims of Bosnia and Rwanda. On the occasions of this tragic event, which is mark a new chapter added to the serious crime against humanity, I salute the children, women, the age and youth who died for our freedoms and dignity. I also pray to God for the speedy recovery of the war angels while hoping that Darfur genocide is the last chapter of atrocities against human against human beings in our history. I wonder if the international community is sincere about the principle of the responsibility of protections and the commitment of never again before our eyes. According to international legal terms, genocide is defined as a crime of two main elements, mental and physical elements. Both elements are strongly present in Darfur atrocity. In this context, President Omar al-Bashir had stated in a certain and given orders to his soldiers on the eve of the war in Darfur directing them that he did not want to see any prisoners of war or war injured to brought back alive, which he clearly proved his intentions and mental state of a commitment genocide against the people of Darfur. The statement has become the primary evidence used ICC indictment against Bashir and his co-perpetrators. Following President Bashir's statement in Al-Fashir, the NCP government had pumped the billions of the hard currencies from the state treasury to bail up it is a military capability against the innocent people of Darfur. In this war, the NCP government being able to bring all types of conventional weapons, including warplanes that could be manufactured in any advanced war factory, especially those from countries like China and Russia. <coughs> in addition to some internationally prohibited weapons that could destroy the main resource of life, particularly water and pastures resource, as well as using the starvation as a weapon against who fled the war. Moreover, the NCP also dragged the Janjaweed militia into the war against particular ethnic groups in the region and as a result, atrocities atrocities of killing, ethnic cleansing, raping, displacement, homelessness, looting, and burning, being committed against innocent civilians throughout the last 10 years and is still going on, with a poly of effective grand demographic engineering against indigenous inhabitants of Darfur. Some tribes in Darfur face it, genocide in whole, and those who manage to escape a genocide among them now live in deplorable conditions in displaced camps or are refugees in Chad, South Sudan, some African countries in Europe, in America and Australia. In this war, Darfur has lost approximately about a half American, uh, sorry, about a half million of lives killed by NCP's war machine and ironically genocide engineer. Bashir acknowledges in public that he only killed 10,000 people, more than 
4,000 villages being burned and leveled to ground. About 2 million people now live in displaced camps and not less than 1 million refugees. The scope of the crime is on the daily expansion. With renewing tools and leads among them is that the NCP has a push to the sense of Mali war fleet al Qaeda elements whom now use in Darfur to fight on behalf of the NCP against the people of Darfur. Which is the fact and the figures indicate we are about to step into the second decade of genocide in Darfur. Yet the perpetrators is still roaming freely around around the world on their jet airplane on a trips sometimes extend from Khartoum in the heart of Africa to Beijing in the in the far east of Asia without any perpetrators or without any uh, protestations or blockage or interception. At this historical juncture, I call on all Sudanese and people of Darfur in particular to move against this regime in order to close this direct chapter. I also urge the international community, the permanent members of the UN Security Council in particular, to act decisively, swiftly for putting to an end the tragedy in Darfur. In this regard, the first step is, impose, first step is impositions of the no-fly zone in Darfur and other affected areas in Kurdufan, Nuba Mountains and the Blue Nile. Thank you very much.